Hey everyone, <laughs> welcome to the Classical Conversations YouTube channel. Today I'm visiting Paige in her homeschooling space. So Paige, give us the tour. All right. Welcome, we're glad you're here. This is actually our catch-all room for homeschooling. It's not going to be what your typical homeschool room might look like, but I'll show you the chaos so you can feel better about any chaos that you may have. So um, this is my catch-all for tutoring and things like that. Plus I have maybe a little bit of a paper fetish. I keep my uh, mm. cards and things like that in there. You can wanna I grab show one? These? Yeah. yeah. That's what oh. I, we, we, That's the CC flash cards, which are in a lot of these videos. Yes, they are, huh? Displayed in many different ways. Definitely. So that takes me to over here. Um, Hobby Lobby provided this fun uh, four piece. I have four kiddos, mm -hmm. and this is my oldest, um, second, third, and my fourth child, yeah, and each yeah. one of them kind of keep their daily work somewhat in there. We're currently studying American history, and for the most part, I tend to uh, switch that out. I have some bins that I keep in the garage and so um, when we're in American history time period oh, all my American gotcha. history books go through there. So not all the books have to be shelved. This is a yeah. rotational. It is rotational. Bin. So currently we yeah. have cycle, um, yeah. sorry cycle three but it's American history is what it mm -hmm. is and mm -hmm. I'm a big um, component of reading aloud to them and things like that. Mm -hmm. So we really sit down um, um, to say that this is my homeschool room. It's my catch-all homeschool room because we do a lot of on the couch reading alouds right. and, um, and things like that. So It's almost a storage room for totally the, a storage the room, active yes. homeschooling components Correct. and then you have other ones that are boxed yes so that we kind of do some yeah. switching out and yeah. things like that, that yes. makes sense so I have an eighth grader and a seventh grader and they're starting to do mm -hmm. a lot more on their own and I'm, okay. I'm, I'm stepping out as a little bit as they're learning to get their own education out of it um, so this is some of the books either that are long range for me to study or set aside with her for eighth grade and seventh grade. And you got so, some games in here? Looming. That's Lo lo yeah. Looming lo oh, for my girls things, and some yeah. yarns and stuff. Because this is not only homeschool, it's also the Wii room. So we have our Wii in ah. here, so we have lots of good space. Sometimes the Legos can even be pulled out in here. So that's why it's good that your homeschool storage is away from the center of the room. Yes, and it gets yeah. pulled out and it mm -hmm. may stay that way for a couple of days and then it gets oh. put, put back away. So it's very, it's very fluid room. Oh, very yeah. fluid. And then uh, when we do need to sit down at the table, this is an option. We also do at the kitchen table, the dining room table. Because let's face it, as a, as a mom, I'm in the kitchen oftentimes yeah. and, and they're able to just sit there and do their work and ask me questions and we dialogue or what not while I might be washing the dishes or prepping for dinner or cleaning up and you know when you eat three meals a day all the time you feel like you're constantly pre pe yeah, prepping yeah. eating and cleaning up and it's just nice to have them right there so it sounds like you do less of a checklist based schedule and more of including school in home life most definitely yeah. most definitely we definitely probably don't look a lot uh, of a we don't keep a schedule, a time schedule. Mm -hmm. um, we, I do a lot of volunteering, so I, I have to often t tell my girls what needs to be accomplished while I'm gone, and they will take care of it while I'm gone. Now, how do you know what needs to be accomplished on a given day well, if you don't use with my a two, schedule? Uh, yes. Well, fortunately, with my two oldest, um, that comes in the guide that they do with the curriculum that they receive um, through Classical Conversations, and that, that's a matter of them learning ownership. As far as the younger two goes, we don't do as much... Um, paperwork that you often find in public schools. So there's a lot more read alouds. There's a lot more, that, yes, they need to work on their penmanship. We do work on with essentials. Uh, we work on um, uh, having them work through a story and things like that. And I, I will sit down with them in a, uh, with essentials, but it doesn't look like a, a rote time schedule. Our classroom right. doesn't start at eight in the morning and end at three. A lot of times my girls will sit down with their, play with Legos on the floor and just do their memory work on their own. That doesn't require me when they have mm. a uh, their own CD player. They're mature enough, fortunately, um, to be able to sit on the floor and enjoy Legos and interacting, but listening to the timeline, listening to the CD that Classical Conversations provides and things like that. The, the good thing about that is very fluid and flexible. The bad thing about that is we could be still homeschooling into the evening, but a lot of times yeah. it's because we play during the day and, and that's okay by us. So okay. it's okay. been a good good way to hmm. balance the two. And what's this over here? Ah, so we were showing, telling Tobin um, earlier, it's a good thing we don't have smell, smell a thon mm. going on in here. My eighth grade daughter's science fair project was we swabbed the mouth of a dog, my daughter did, and then she swabbed three water fountains. I was kind of grossed out. Anyway. Now you were saying homeschool takes place all around the house. Is there another room in particular that we should see? My eighth and seventh grade daughter. Why don't we go see their room? Okay, let's go. And these are my girls, Caroline and Ashley. They are in curriculum that they're studying themselves. I'm supposed to be their lead teacher and I try mm -hmm. to come alongside them and I'm learning alongside them constantly, but they are learning to own their own 
um, curriculum and own what they're doing. All their books are kept right in front of them on yeah. their books. They have their handy dandy crates that are underneath. For taking to community. That take yep. to community yep. each week, exactly. And um, all their fun drawing things and things that make them happy are, are, are everywhere. And the bookshelf, is this all recreational reading? For the most part, that is more recreational reading. I think it's got some uh, some others that are on there, some mm -hmm. of her different... Uh, school books on the top. Fun reads, fun school books, oh, stuff yeah. that she's already outdone or going to get back into. So your homeschooling is very fluid between rooms. Was it always that way or did you used to have a more rigid mindset? You know, I think there's a lot of different ways to homeschool and a lot of different ways to homeschool successfully. And okay. so my formula probably doesn't look like everybody else's formula. We have tried uh, box style education, which is, was a lot, but it was a lot of paperwork. It was a lot of mark this off, do this and do that. Um, for us, it wasn't what was the best for us. It was a lot of tedious work, a lot of details. I'd, I'd much rather pursue that similar knowledge in a book or um, pursue it from uh, audible audibles or, or different things like that. I mean, I, it, it's supposed to be an enjoy the journey process and we are allowed to joy, enjoy the journey more, <laughs> more better when, uh, when we relax in it because I enjoy hanging out with my kids. I enjoy yeah. doing it. Well, thanks for giving me the tour, Paige. Yeah. Welcome anytime, Tobin. Everyone. And if you'd like to see more homeschooling room tours and interviews with homeschooling parents, check out the links at the end of this video or go to our website to find a Classical Conversations community near you. God bless you and happy homeschooling.